I use you for your buddy. Mm -hmm. And I definitely invited you over at 10 p.m. on a Wednesday night because of your absolutely rocking personality, brother. Way to go. Gentlemen, what is going on? It's Hidan with today's show. Guys, if you're not subscribed yet, consider so and like the video if you find it entertaining. With nothing more to say, let's get down to business. You see, I really do blame my ex for the way that I view relationships now. Because I gave that man everything. I did everything for that man. Literally would have given him the world if I could. And he dropped me from one day to another like I was nothing. So I apologize if I do hesitate on loving you, trusting you, and giving you my all. I'm working on it. So today we have a lady that actually shows some accountability, which as you know is rare on TikTok. So I'll give her that. It appears she genuinely is trying to understand why she can't make it work in the dating world. And this thing she mentioned that she got trashed by her ex and now she's finding it hard to invest in serious relationships. I think most of us can relate to that. And you know, things like this happen. Usually because you are young and naive and you think that everything that shines is gold. Uh, I personally think that dating before your 20s is a waste of time because statistically speaking most of the relationships last three months at that age. But the point is, things like this happen. No one will blame you for having a bad experience. The key is what you do afterwards. Do you learn from your bad experience or do you keep running in circles around the problem? So let's see the second TikTok by this woman. I was toxic to some. I was a blessing to others. Some I healed and some I hurt. But I'm willing to admit that I wasn't always right. And I'm still not always right. And I'm working on that. You feel me? Okay, okay. I like where this is going. Some accountability, right? I mean, I can't help but agree. <laughs> now, let's watch the third TikTok to see how this woman progresses in her thoughts about her dating experience. And to anybody that I may have hurt this year, I big fuck y'all. Y'all probably deserved it. Y'all really gotta stop playing with me. You feel me? Okay, so... <laughs> now we have a complete switch uh, in the mood. Uh, we went from sad piano music to screw all guys I've been with because they played me. You know, I'd be interested to know how many people are you talking about. Uh, like, how many men have you been with in one year? And if, if I recall correctly, this woman is a single mother, so keep that in mind also. But what happened with the improving part? You know, in your last video, and uh, your last TikTok, you mentioned how you were, you're, you're trying to improve, yet in this one you say that an undefined number of men have played you. Gentlemen, this is why whenever I hear uh, things like, oh, I'm healing, this is my learning stage, everyone makes mistakes, I'm growing as a person, it's utter BS to me. Like, these words mean nothing, white noise. Don't speak, do. If you're really growing as a person, you'd have one or two bad relationships and that's it. But if you're pretending to grow, then this happens. You just keep repeating those words to yourself like they mean something, when in reality you go in circles. So, even though I gave you the benefit of the doubt on your first TikTok, that maybe you had bad luck with your ex or he turned out to be a different person than, than what he was pretending to, now it seems to me that you are the one making the wrong choices. Let's keep watching. I don't know why I'm the type of person that always believes there's good in that person, even though they showed me so many fucking times that they're a shitty ass person. Because that's what you feel attracted to. Like, no matter what, I always try to see the good in people. And it ends up fucking me over at the end of the day. You feel me? I don't... No, I don't feel you. <laughs> I mean, don't pretend like you see a bad person. And you're so angelical that you only view the good things in them. You could date a good guy and still see the good in him, but no, you feel attracted to the bad boys, you feel attracted to men a using you, 
And that may sound harsh, gentlemen. Maybe someone who hasn't been around the block will hear me say how women are attracted to abusive relationships. But it's absolutely true. A lot of women nowadays are straight up repulsed by a good, stable relationship. And they will try and avoid it. Or if they happen to be in one, they will absolutely sabotage it. A lot of women that want Chad, you know, the ones who seek for that guy that doesn't pay them any attention and is above them and is inaccessible. Guys, I tell you, if they get him, if Chad commits and he starts investing in them, and being loyal, uh, growing a stable relationship, these girls will unironically get bored of him. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's how it goes in most of the cases. Let's watch her fifth TikTok. Dear Lord, can you please teach me how to keep my heart guarded, but to not build a wall around it? Can you help me to remain soft, but to also know my boundaries? Because I can't be showing up to a future relationship completely heartless. I still want to be open to love and open to trust. So now, she's praying that the Lord give her wisdom and help her keep her heart guarded. Ma'am, no God can help you if you yourself don't want to be helped. And a way to keep your heart guarded is, don't give it freely to everyone. I don't know guys, it seems so simple to me. When you analyze your dates, you can get a good pattern of your own mistakes. Notice what type of people are you dating. Notice what people used to trash you. And don't date them. It's not quantum physics, gentlemen, I tell you. And you know why uh, it's easy for this woman? Because good women are much desired nowadays. Some men are literally traveling to other continents to find women to date. And this woman is attractive, right? Uh, she's not screaming on her TikToks, that's something. She doesn't describe herself as a bad bee. Are you willing to tell me that no good guys will be ready to date her? Are you seriously telling me that only the bad ones are flocking towards her? Now guys, I'll give you an example. Imagine you're trying to buy a second-hand car, and the salesman shows you a, a modern model, a quality car, preserved, shiny, with a lot of extras, an all-around excellent car, and at a really, really cheap price. Wouldn't that ring a bell? Because if this car is so excellent, if everything works perfectly, and the car looks good and is so incredibly cheap, how come nobody's bought it yet? You will think that there's something broken within the car that the salesman is not telling you about, right? If a woman is attractive, a pleasant person, sane, an all-around good person, if she wants a relationship and she doesn't get it, then that rings a bell. Because apparently there's something she's not telling you about. And we have seen so many women, you know, uh, so many self-proclaimed uh, excellent women... <laughs> on TikTok saying how good they are and how pleasant they are and how they will, you know, give the world uh, to their boyfriend, etc. Yet they still remain single. Doesn't, doesn't you, uh, don't you question yourself as to why that may be and that maybe they're not being so honest about it. But guys, let's check uh, our final TikTok for today and then we'll move to a Reddit story. I really got abandonment issues. I feel like nothing lasts forever. And nobody ever stays. Everybody always ends up leaving. You feel me? No, not everyone uh, leaves. The men that you pick end up leaving. There will be quite a lot of men willing to give you a serious relationship. Especially when you were in your 20s. Especially uh, before you had a child to another man. You know, so... Uh, I'm sad for you, you know, uh, you seem to be showing some sense of accountability. But it just seems to me, gentlemen, leave me in the comments what your take is on this, but it just seems to me like she's running around circles. She's still dating the same type of men that, that have led her to this position. And I know uh, from personal experience and from many, many stories and videos and articles, so many cases of women who realize uh, that, that they have been absolutely trashed by a certain type of man, they realize that uh, their perception has changed on a lot of topics because of that one man that they use them, uh, yet they still date that type of man. It's so ironic. And the biggest enemy, guys, the biggest enemy for happy women and their, 
are their own high standards and misguided idea of what men to pick. Because if a woman doesn't have high standards, and when I say high standards, I mean unreasonably, uh, you know, through the roof standards. And if, and if she could differentiate between what a good man and a bad man are, she would most definitely find a husband, a life partner, a boyfriend, a father to their, their children, and someone who will not leave them behind. But anyways, guys, enough about that. Uh, let's read a Reddit story. And the title is, Why don't people reject those they aren't interested in? What's the harm in saying no instead of just letting them think they stand a chance? Hey, so I was wondering, what are the reasons some women don't just say no? This seems to happen a lot, where someone will agree to a date, but will ultimately flake last minute. Yeah, and this is something that a lot of women do. Because it's women who have the options, and it's women who can, you know, not go to a date, go to a different other, uh, you know, <laughs> miss one date, and they have four other dates uh, that very same week. Little backstory for this question. So I asked this girl out who I liked. She said yes, and even suggested a day. She seemed keen to go on, on said date, at least I thought so. We're not friends or in the same circle of friends, so there's no awkwardness for being rejected. Anyways, the day before the date, I received a voice message of her explaining that she couldn't do it that day and we can do it another day. I put the ball in her court and said, if, when, she wants to grab a drink, let me know. She said she'd keep me updated. I don't expect a follow-up. It's been a week since, since then and I've removed her number as she's clearly not interested. Uh, good job on you, I have to say. Good job, that's the right decision. If a woman, you know, is not willing to meet up with you, just delete her number. Uh, this guy did the correct thing, because otherwise uh, you will be still waiting for that date, and you will never get it. So my question is, why not just reject the guy? Why give him hope that there's a chance when there really isn't? Uh, because you are a farm of attention. That's what it is. Because you are an option, you are on a roster, uh, you are her plan B or C or D or E or whatever. And you are not her plan A, okay? That, that's what sums all of this. If you were her plan A, uh, if she was really interested in you, she would have met you. And if for some reason she couldn't do it that day, uh, she would have told you, let's meet tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. You know, she would have done everything possible to meet you. Guys, this is something that Taylor says all the time. <laughs> saying how a woman will drive in a thunderstorm to meet with you if she's interested. It's absolutely true. Uh, absolutely true, excuse me. Women will move heaven and hell uh, to get with a guy that they like. They'll find a way, you know? But let's keep reading. I think most men will agree that rejection isn't as painful as getting our hopes up and knocking us down again. Yeah, so gentlemen, as said... I tell you, man, if, if a woman is interested in you, uh, she will tell you, if she can make it in one day, she will tell you a different date, uh, she will cancel a date just to get with you, whatever. So, if a woman, if you're trying to date, if you're on a dating market, if you have a, an, an app for that, if, if women are not paying you attention and, and are not invested, do as this guy did and just delete their number. Because otherwise, you're going to waste so much of your time uh, chasing nothing at all. But with that being said, guys, a kind of a short video today. But thank you for watching if you made it uh, to the end. Leave me down a comment uh, what you think, what your takes on. Leave any suggestion for the channel. I'm trying to improve all the time. I'm trying to... I'm reading all your comments, guys. Uh, thank you for the support. I'm really thinking about the direction of this channel. So feel free to tell me what you will be interested in. And with that being said, guys, thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Have a good day.